We have four wonderfully uh, varied but equally fascinating panelists to lead the discussion. To empower a woman means you need to give her something that supposedly she doesn't already possess. And I think that we're bound by our own cognitive limitations. I think with uh, society, I come from the South in the United States, so I recognize a lot of the similar cultural nuances. So I would like to see women of Pakistani background who are achieving in education. Uh, as of somebody who's been a governor of a university, I've seen plenty of young women coming through the education system who have done really, really well, but they are not still getting the jobs that they should be getting with those qualifications and that experience. We really need to understand that women often stand at the crux, at the epicenter of, of a number of critical relationships. And for women really to reach self-actualization, it is very important for them to be given the kind of support that they need from whichever organization it is that they work in, but also from the family, from the community at large. So I don't think the challenge really is from the point of graduation, if you like, or getting into the workplace. I think uh, British Pakistani families are very proactive in pushing their daughters to achieve scholastically and going forward in that. I think what happens is five years in, where you see women dropping off at an alarming rate. Often British Asian women have to juggle multiple identities from cultural, religious, gender and professional perspectives. So what is it that defines us? Who is the woman I am? Women uh, moving forward and always ensuring that they're bringing other women with them, I think that's very, very key in what we do. And if I was to be asked who I am, I'm a woman who wants to make sure that many women have, uh, all women indeed, have the opportunities I've had. Women are particularly good at, um, I think, uh, women who have a family, who can run a home, who can do so many other things, who can multitask. That, that's a wonderful quality um, I think we all have. The best part about doing anything in life is when you walk off the pitch, you have somebody come up to you and say, you know, I've never seen someone bowl like that ever before, or you bowl like Shane Warne. And <laughs> it's amazing to, you know, have somebody, somebody who doesn't even know your name, to say you have talent. And that's quite big, you know, to prove to your family, to prove to critics, to tell people. When I'm not playing sports, my full-time job is a hemodialysis nurse. And my message to the girls out there is that sky is the limit. We can aim for whatever we want to. As a woman, we are empowered both by our culture and our religion. We have all that it takes, and with all the encouragement that we receive from everywhere, we can go and really, as I said, sky is the limit. So, Thank you, Dr. Alba. Thank you.